Hello friends, how do you hope you are fine? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create uh, a basic okay student management system in C using array data structure. Okay, so it's basic uh, just for uh, fundamental programming project. Okay, so first of all, I run this project and show you how it works. Then I will explain all the code. Okay, so now I run this one. Okay, you can see welcome to SMS student manual system one for add two for search three for display four update and five delete okay and zero to exit program okay so now i press one and student id is zero zero uh, nine zero nine and name is ali gender male age is around uh, two three okay twenty three and then student class is PSSC. Okay. Address Adopt. Now you can see this student is inserted successfully. This is the information of that particular student. Okay. Now if I wanna search, I have to enter the ID. Okay. If I enter 909 like that. You can see record not found okay 909 so this one is the student information okay you may add any number of student okay now I enter one for insert more student and if I enter this ID again you can see this ID is already exist okay please enter different ID so 902 and name is Ahmad gender male age 24 BSW and address Nahor. Now you can see two students are inserted in this array data structure. Okay, now if I want to search, I press 2 and I have to enter the ID 902. You can see is display the information of Ahmad 2909 information of Ali okay now I update the information uh, okay here I have to enter the ID 909 and name Ali male and age is under 25 MS SC okay address is adopt so you can see this information is updated now I wanna search again 909 so it's you can see updated and search successfully so display all display the information of all the students okay student one student two now I wanna delete I press 3 sorry 5 and then I have to enter the ID so I press 909 so student will be successfully now I display all the student with 3 so only one student is in our list 902 okay so now I press 0 to exit okay so this is the working of this project now uh, I will explain all the code with you okay so first of all you need to include this header file standard input output header file okay then I create a structure okay and see in the structure we create ID name gender age class address you may add any number of attribute that you want okay so we have to store the information about students so we add all the properties of that student okay then here you can see uh, we create two methods okay uh, for taking the user choice okay if the user enter any invalid choice so this function will keep asking until the user enter a valid choice okay so here i create a main menu okay to display the main menu to the user okay now i create the student array okay with around 1000 okay 
you may add any number here okay so here i'm gonna add a maximum 1000 student okay and then create one count and one choice variable okay so here i create a while true loop then in the main menu you can see first of all i display this main menu so you can see this one is the main menu welcome to sms uh, these one are the choices okay after that uh, add a user choice okay so in choice if a user enter any invalid choice okay user must have to enter between 0 to 5 okay so if it is not uh, it will in this program ask a user please enter valid choice okay and if the choice is valid we break this loop and return this value so now I'm going to show you the functionality of insert okay insert function and then delete okay and display function okay so first of all if the choice is zero we just break this loop and display this message okay otherwise if uh, the choice is one uh, we display this message welcome to student insertion menu okay and we take this id okay so here we create a variable okay for checking if the id is exist or not okay so if the id student id is exist we keep asking the user otherwise we break this loop okay the same like that uh, we like i will show you when we have to take the choice from user okay so it's same like that we have to search from our array okay we start uh, from count okay start from zero and check until count okay so if this id is exist we display this message okay otherwise we break this loop and store this information okay and take more information like student name okay so you have to set student and the index okay and then the name okay same gender age okay student uh, class and address okay so we have to display this message at the end student added successfully and uh, then we have to increment the count by one okay if the user choice is two so we have to get the id with uh, student information he wanna search okay so here you can see we check using for loop okay if the student id is exists in this a student array okay we set uh, create a variable as okay so if uh, we like if the id is exist we set the this index to that particular s variable okay otherwise our s is minus one okay so if uh, this is minus one our record is not found uh, now you can see if the s value is like uh, greater than minus one okay so we have to display the information of the student uh, search successfully and add that particular index okay same like uh, you can see for uh, update okay so this one is just like we create uh, for display our student you can see we start from zero and until count we display all the information in our array okay so here for update we have to get the id which uh, id will be on update okay so if the id is found we here if the id is not found we display this message no record found okay so if the id is found we have to get uh, all the values all the other records like name gender age class address from the student okay and then store uh, the all the record is stored at that particular s index okay because we you can see in the search we assign that particular student index that uh, the uh, the id entered by the user okay so we will be 
here okay now we will display all the updated information to the user so for delete we add the same functionality like take the id and search if the id is uh, exist we will be here otherwise we display this message same like that okay so here if the you can see this one is the index okay s is our index okay if uh, this one is the uh, this one is equal to count okay like only one record so we simply count minus one otherwise you can see if this one is the greater than zero okay so we shuffle like uh, the last index we assign to uh, the current deleting index okay and count minus one so this delete successfully okay so this one is the working of that particular project uh, i will also upload the source code on my website so please like this video and subscribe my channel for more informative videos